Horses aren't cheap. That's why not every kid who wants one has one. But while all horses are pricey, some are far pricier than most. The cost of some equine will blow your mind. These are the most expensive horses in the world. Number 20. The Frisian Horse Breed Now you might be thinking that this list is solely going to be about singular horses and their apparent values, but that's not exactly all that's going on here. Because while there can be solo horses that bring in buku bucks, there are also breeds of horses that are known for being infamously expensive. Which of course means they're incredibly desirable. One such horse is the Frisian horse breed. This was a breed that was born in the northernmost part of the Netherlands. What's more, they're a very old breed of horse, as they were made as early as, if not earlier, the year 1251. So these horses are only a few decades away from being about 900 years old. What will be incredibly obvious about the Frisian is that they're a large horse, known to not just be bigger than your average horse and breed, but they have thick bones, thick manes, and are also known to be luxurious. Hey, hey, hey. Ironically, they only come in one color though, that being black, like my soul. Which is odd, but black horses do look awesome, and this would make them perfect for stealth operations. Not surprisingly, with their impressive frames, they were used both in terms of actual battle and for knights on horseback during certain jousting tournaments. Nowadays though, they're mostly used on the farm, and we're sure that their frames help them with that as well. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Green Monkey now I'm getting to the singular horse, and starting off with the most expensive horse that was ever purchased, the Green Monkey. Yes, they named a horse Green Monkey. This horse would be dubbed by many during its life to be a once-in-a-lifetime horse, which goes to show you why it was so expensive to get. But how expensive exactly, you may be asking? Well, try about $16 million. Just pause for a moment and consider how many full-on horses you could get for $16 million. You could have a whole horse ranch and have the time of your lives for the amount that these people spent on one singular horse. Now, if you didn't know, the Green Monkey was a racehorse, and a good one at that, hence the value, but just as important was his ability to be used as a stud, meaning they would sell him off in spurts, if you know what I mean, all to help people make other horses with his genetic makeup in the hopes of getting a better offspring. They're pimping out a horse, and that's a common thing in the horse community. Sadly though, the horse had to eventually be euthanized because of his health issues, but it remains an example of how far people are willing to go to get an epic horse. Number 18. Arabian Horses now I'm going back to full-on breeds to talk about the horse species which is one of the most revered, not just for his pedigree, but for their capabilities. I'm speaking of course about the Arabian horse. Now on the surface, paying about five to ten thousand dollars for an Arabian horse doesn't sound like a whole lot, especially when you compare it to the green monkey. But that being said, that's just a base price for an average Arabian horse. If you were to try and get a more top tier one, the price would significantly rise. But here's the real selling point. It's not their looks, though they are absolutely beautiful, rather it's their ability and capability as workers and racers that get them their value. You see, Arabian horses grew up in the Middle East, with the harsh sun and desert sands constantly beating against them, and that meant that those horses over time were able to grow a strength and endurance that other horses simply can't match. 
That's why many of these horses are used for the legendary and infamous endurance races, because the breed itself is set up for endurance and can go long distances without any issue. Barring physical injury, of course. They're also very sensitive and full of empathy, said to be able to understand the needs of their owners, which isn't something that you hear very often. All of those things combined makes this horse worth the cost. Number 17. Fusiachi Pegasus Horse The Fusiachi Pegasus Horse is a legendary racehorse for reasons that will make the hairs stand on end, because apparently this horse raced in what is now known as the single most valuable horse race of all time. And considering how people bet on these races, that really says something. Fusiachi Pegasus would be born from the DNA of a legendary triple crown racer, Mr. Prospector, a horse that had quite the set of offspring. But when it came to the Fusiashi Pegasus, the owner knew that he had Superman. He would be right, as by 1998 it was setting records on the racetrack, and by the time that it went on a tear and set monetary records, it was clear that it was a horse for the ages. It ended up winning the Kentucky Derby at 9 to 5 odds and did it in the seventh fastest time in history of the race. He didn't get the Triple Crown, but he did some of the best races around, and that's saying something special. Number 16. Thoroughbred Horse no doubt many of you at home are familiar with the term because to be a true thoroughbred means you have a proven and refined lineage that allows you to take the best traits from the parent horses and then expand upon them. In the case of these horses, the offspring are always meant to surpass those that came before. But what people sometimes forget is that while the thoroughbred is usually the choice for various races across the world, their value does not end when their time on the track stops. By that, I mean that they find secondary careers in terms of being drivers of carts, you know, like the ones that take you on a buggy throughout the city, or even riding horses for high school classes. Now, because when these horses are refined through selective breeding, they will truly become greater than the sum of their parts. And for those who raise the horses and breed them, for those who want them for racing, if you can maintain their purity and note their bloodline, especially if that bloodline happens to trace to certain legendary horses, the sky is the limit in terms of price. For example, if you wanted a basic thoroughbred horse, you can get one for about $1,000 or at most $10,000 depending on its name and purpose. But ones with a good bloodline, well, those can go up to $100,000 without even breaking a sweat. Number 15. The Akal Teki Horse Now when you hear the words domesticated, you no doubt think about dogs and cats and how they're trained to be good pets for humans. But the trick here is that it does apply to horses as well, and this breed was one that was the first that was ever domesticated for humans. The Akal Teki was a horse bred for a specific purpose, in this case, one of speed and endurance. But if you look at the horse, you might actually notice something a little bit off about it. Because when you think of certain horse breeds, including many on this list, you think of bulky and muscular horses that can give their all. But the Akal Teki, well, it's one that's known to be narrow and a little bit thin. This is actually a turnoff for most buyers because they prefer those bigger, buffer horses. But for those who know just how special the horse is, the value is inherent. It's one of the rarest, most exotic horses in all the world, not to mention that it dates back thousands of years, ensuring that it has a history that most horse species do not. The horse was actually born and bred in Turkmenistan and has its shape due to sparse conditions by which the horse could eat or drink and the weather conditions that it had to endure. Even an average horse of this breed can fetch $35,000. Number 14. Dutch Warm Blood. Now, I've seen some weird horse names in my life, but I'm not likely to be done with them for quite some time. Calling a horse a warm blood though, well of course it's a warm blooded thing, it's a mammal. Mammals are always warm blooded. 
But the Dutch Warmblood isn't the name of a singular horse, but actually a breed, one that's dubbed a middleweight amongst horses out there. While it may not make it the best horse for racing, it does have a place in the other kind of horse competition, that being riding and dressing. You know, as in those competitions where the dogs go and move around the obstacles and such, it's that kind of thing. And apparently they're really good at it. And if that doesn't work out for them, they could be good drivers of carts. The reason that they are so good at this art is because of their build, not the least of which is well proportioned and how they're an, um, tr an attractive horse, we should say. It's their words and not ours. Lest you think that I'm milking just how good these horses are, I'm not. They've not only won plenty of dressage competitions, but they've also won medals in the Olympics. The range in terms of price for this horse varies, but you can easily go and find yourself one for about $25,000, if not more. Number 13. Cell Francaise. And now, a French horse, which, no, is not really known to run super fast in the face of a surrender, that's a stereotype, and you should feel shame for thinking about that. Rather, the Cell Francais is known as the French Saddle Horse, and it's actually a rather recent horse breed compared to others on my list, as it would be bred in the 19th century in Normandy, which hopefully you all know about D-Day. But here's the twist when it comes to this horse, because unlike many other horses on my my list, it's not a purebred or even a thoroughbred horse. Rather, it's a mixture of stallions and native mares, and thus, for a while, were known as half-blooded horses due to their bloodlines. Eventually, though, all of these horses were brought together and given the designation of Cell Francais. So why did they fuse all of those horses together, if you will? Well, apparently the French wanted a species that would help them for sport and leisure, and so this horse would be made as a result. But who can ever understand the French anyways? That being said, the French go to great lengths to train a horse to be something special, and as a result, these horses are at their base can cost you up to $47,000 at times. Even a more basic one, well that's still going to be seventeen grand. they're not exactly cheap horses. Number 12. Andalusian Horse I've already shown you a lot of history when it comes to certain horse breeds, but when it comes to the Andalusian, many would agree that it's a literal interpretation of grandfather of all horses. Granted, it's not the first horse species, but could you imagine the history if it was? It's one that's said to be the most direct influencer in terms of genetics for all modern day horses, showing that the Andalusian is one that clearly has a lot of sway. Not surprisingly, they're good competition horses especially in the world of dressage games, not the least of which is that they're said to be very beautiful horses that have a rhythmic walk. That's not something you really hear said a lot of times. Now, in a very big twist, if you do want to go and look up the exact origin of this horse, you may honestly be out of luck, for the very basic reason that this horse is so old that it can't have its roots traced. It's that old. And because of that ancientness, many debate about just where the horse came from and how it became such an influence on modern horses of today. Oh, and if you do want one of these horses, and I wouldn't be mad if you did, you'll need to drop about $20,000 or more in order to get one. Number 11. The American Standard Bred Horse when you hear the phrase American Standard Bred Horse, you might get the inclination that this is a horse that's just eh, alright. You know, it's a standard bred horse and all that, and has some uses but not yet many. That proves what is in a name is more than you think. It bucks that stereotype, mainly because this was an American horse that was made for racing and it's pretty good at it as well. Plus, if you needed another reason to enjoy this horse, it's said to have great beauty, personality, speed, and agility, which makes it a species that many would prefer for those reasons. Funny enough though, while it is an American breed, it didn't start out with an American horse. Rather, not unlike the United States itself, it started out English. They imported an English horse and used it to have 
offspring and then used the offspring in order to breed with other horse types until the American Standard Bred would be made. Arguably, the best part about the horse is indeed its personality because it doesn't mind relaxing at all and they actually love to spend time with their owners. This is a horse that you can truly be friends with and that's definitely appealing. Number 10. Oldenburg Horse The Oldenburg Horse is one that traces back to a breed similar to one we've talked about already, the Warm Blood. This one specifically though isn't a Dutch creation, but one that comes from Germany, and they have a very interesting history in terms of how they went from what they were to what they've become. Because if you look at their history, they actually began as a regular plowing horse. They were short, compact, and absolutely could get the job done, but then it was bred to be more of a racing horse, and thus became tall and strong, which made it perfect for the competitions that it was going to be in. Showing that breeding when it comes to horses is really important because it can honestly buck the trend in terms of DNA and create something more special. Due to the history and elegance of the Oldenburg, price Prices on this horse are likely to be much more than you anticipate. For example, it's more of a basic Oldenburg that you can get, oh, for about $5,000. However, if you go to auction for some of the best around, well, in the year 2020, one of these horses sold for $382,000. Number 9. Hanoverian Somewhat ironically, we have another horse from Germany that's also a warm blood, and in this case, it would be the Hanoverian horse. Unlike our previous horse, though, this one is mostly known for being a riding horse, and apparently it's a world-famous one, but who knew? When it comes to the warm blood species of horses, the Hanoverian horse is one of the oldest around, dating back all the way to the 16th century. But wait, there's more! because it's widely believed that the true creator of this breed was none other than King George II of England. Talk about a royal upbringing. Not unlike a king's thought process, the horse was first said to be used for military purposes because obviously cavalry units were huge back in those days. As time went on and further breeding would take place, it slowly became more of a competition and riding horse. The highest price for a Hanoverian horse that was ever recorded comes in at $1,125,000 for the horse Lemony's Nicket in 2008. So, I guess you could say that someone paid a king's ransom for it. Number 8. The American Quarter Horse and now back to America we go. But this time around I'm talking about arguably one of the most famous breeds that the country has ever produced, the American Quarter Horse. While many horses are known for their qualities, as that's kind of the point, the American Quarter Horse is specifically beloved by many because of its positive qualities, which is also kind of the point. But this is one that apparently excels at those points. They're known for being perfect horses for people of all riding levels, so whether you're a novice or an expert, the horse is going to be good to you. They've been used for racing, riding, ranch work, and just being straight up pets. Which, let's be honest, we've all wanted a pet horse at one point or another in our lives. You know, like last week. Plus, they're known to have a very good build and come in a variety of colors. The best part, however, is that while many of the high-end versions of this breed can cost you a lot of money, the basic ones can actually be bought for around $1,000, an amount perfect for those of you who want a good horse but are on a horse budget. Number 7. Holsteiner Horse now we take a look at that name and we just guess where the breed originates from, and if you guess Germany, you did well. But there's a twist, because this breed is one of the oldest that Germany's ever produced, and as a result, it's one of their most respected. However, it's also one that's known specifically for its sports purposes. But why is that, you may ask? Well, because they're agile horses, which these sports obviously want, and they have a steady and reliable disposition. One of the reasons that this is a very old horse breed was the process to make them was begun over 700 years ago in the northern fringe of Germany. Oh, and get this, the people who started breeding them were actually monks. No, really, 
They made them so that they could help with agriculture around the monasteries, as well as to be ready to mount up for battle should they need them. So, you know, warrior monks. Real badasses. Eventually, they started to get popular, and thus got their purpose changed due to their characteristics, and were even popular with a certain Spanish king. If you want one, it's going to cost you, with some of the more high-end bloodlines being worth about $30,000. Number 6. Trocaner Horse And now we head to the Trocaner Horse, which is a horse that's known for athleticism. It's said to be easy to teach and then excel at various sports that horses take part in, and when you have a quick learner that does things really well, well, they can be popular and quite expensive. The word prodigy comes to mind for this species of horse. Furthermore, it's said to have a level-headed nature to it that makes it perfect for all kinds of riders, especially of those who are not exactly level-headed as a horse. After their sporting days are over, they can be used to train the next generation of riders to help refine their own skills before being given a better suited horse of the breed. What's funny about this horse, though, is that while the horse was first bred in East Prussia, things like World War II resulted in them being shifted in their breeding grounds to places all over the world, which includes North America. Most Trocaner horses are priced at about $15,000 or more. Number 5. The Gypsy Vanner now, there are many types of horses that are said to be beautiful in one way or another, but when it comes to the Gypsy Vanner, most say that these are some of the most beautiful horses in all of the world. And that's saying something when you consider some of the breeds that are out there. If you're curious about the name, it's honestly very close to what you'd be expecting. These were horses that were first bred to pull around Gypsy caravans without a whole lot of issue. But these days, they're the beauty queens of the horse world because they have coats of fur that truly shine and more people are finding out about these horses by the day. And because of their temperament, good ones thankfully, they're known to be excellent riding horses as well. Not unlike other horses that I've talked about, they like being around people, which makes sense because they were first used by the gypsies and their families. As for the cost of this horse, you can get one from about 4000 all the way up to thirty thousand dollars number four shire horse the Shire Horse is a British horse and is in fact one of the biggest horse breeds in all of the world today, which means that hobbits wouldn't have been able to wield these horses. Like many horses, their purposes have changed over the years. Because of their massive frames, they were at first used to be a war horse that could carry knights with very heavy armor into battle. But these days they're used more for work and for riding. If you look up records for the biggest horse, most times you'll find the Shire horse, and that says a lot about them. However, their numbers have diminished over the years, and thus they carry a price of an upwards of $20,000. Number 3. Morgan Horse the Morgan Horse is one that has a specific purpose. It was born for farm work. In the 1700s, a man named Justin Morgan decided to make a horse breed and created quite the result, not the least of which was that the horse he had was one that wasn't the tallest around, but it sure was athletic. So much so that the horse he had that sired the breed was able to outrace bigger horses in New York and you can bet that those ones were also bred for success as well. The Morgan horse have compact bodies, but they're refined to a level that makes them rather incredible. Just as incredible is the price tag. If you do get one when it's really young, you may not have to pay more than $1,000, but if you get a full-on mare, then you're talking in upwards of $4,000 at the least. Number 2. Mustang and now for a horse that's so legendary and epic, it was bestowed the honor of being the namesake of a beloved car, the Mustang. 
The Mustang, in many ways, is symbolic of America at various points in its history, for better and for worse, as this horse was a wild one that ran through the western United States. Seeing the mighty herds of Mustangs and be amongst the fields and hills of the country was something to behold. That was until people got stupid and decided they wanted to wipe them all out. There used to be millions of these horses in the world, and now there's only about tens of thousands. Oh, humanity at work. That being said, the Mustang is a mighty horse that has a spirit that can't be matched. Many people may insult the breed because it's not exactly pure, however, it does have pure fire and spirit running through its bones, and Mustangs are some of the best racehorses ever. This includes the legendary Hidalgo. The best thing is that if you do want a Mustang, they can sometimes be only a few hundred dollars, but get the right bloodline and that price can certainly spike. Number 1. The Appaloosa Another spotted horse breed, the Appaloosa comes from the Native American tribes who personally helped to breed these horses into existence. Specifically, it was the Nez Perce Native Americans who brought this horse around, but it wasn't exactly like you think. You see, they bred the horses, and then this group of people called Americans came around and took over the tribe's land and seemingly got rid of the Appaloosa species. Thankfully though, the horse breed wasn't exactly wiped out, and the modern day version of the horse is what you get to see these days. In Idaho especially, they not only love the horse, but they respect it in various ways, which includes going and making one of the biggest horse registries in the world with it. Unlike certain other horses on my list, it's not one that you can just pick up and own. The horse has a temperament that makes it a little bit hard to handle, and it can also have a series of health issues. Add to the fact that it can sometimes be $10,000 or more, and you might want to think twice before getting this horse as your first choice. I hope that you appreciated this look at the expensive horses of the world and what they can be in terms of value. What did you think of some of the prices for these horses? Do you know of another horse that was really expensive? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.